Mariah, we know that is Moshiach, the Mariah he's talking about. Okay, that was 176. Okay. Uh, now go to Lucas 211. 211. I think we did 46, right? Yes. 146? Yes. Okay. So keep, keep, keep track. Lucas 2, 11. 11. Oh, this, this, this nails it. <laughs> this nails it. They, Torque and Emerson, this nails it. This nails it. Well, Rabbi, I'm not sure if Yeshua was really Yahweh. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know he's a good man. I know, I know he was a prophet. I know he was a rabbi. I know that. I know that. I know that. But I don't really know if he was Yahweh come in the flesh. Well, let's read this together and see if this helps you. Lucas 2:11. Because yeah, who are the, who's talking? The Malachim are talking to the shepherds. Because there was born to you today in the city of David. A savior who is Mashiach Maria. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior who is Mashiach Maria, or, or the Messiah, the Master, Yah. My goodness, this is good. Amen? But in the Aramaic, this sticks out, it's pronounced. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. All right, Luke 2.15. Luke 2.15. And it came to be when the messenger had gone away from them into the heavens, that the shepherds said to each other, Indeed, let us go to Beit Lechem and see this matter that has taken place, which the, ma the master or Maria has made known to us. <laughs> Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Maria has made this known to us. 2.22. Luke 2.22. When the days of her cleansing according to the Torah of Moshe were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to Maria. Who did they bring? Yeshua to present to Maria. 222. Stay in 2 and um, 23. 223. As it has been written in the Torah of Yah of Maria, every male <laughs> As it has been written in the Torah of Maria, every male who opens the womb shall be called set apart to Maria. Maria. Now verse 24, to give an offering, Luke 2, 24, to give an offering according to what is said in the Torah of Maria, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Luke 2, 26, 38. Luke 2, 38. She coming in, talking about Anna, the priestess, coming in at that moment, gave thanks to Maria and spoke of him who were waiting for redemption and restoration in Yarusha Lion, verse 39. When they had accomplished all matters according to the Torah of Maria, they returned to Galil, to their city, Nazareth. Amen. Did we do 2-9? No, we missed 2-9. Go back to 2-9. And behold, a messenger of Maria stood before them, and the esteem of Maria shone round about them. Maria. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we did 238, 239, correct? Okay. Tov. Okay, let's do 3, 4. Luke 3, 4. Luke 3 and 4. 
as has been written in the book of the words of Yeshayahu the prophet, saying, A voice crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way for Maria has straight. That was Luke 3 and 4. Okay. Luke 4, 18. Luke 4, 18. The, he came to the synagogue and he read from the Nevi'im. The spirit of Mar Yah is upon me. The spirit of Mar Yah is upon me. Told. Luke 4, 18. Luke 5, 17. Luke 5, 17. On a certain day it came to be, as he was teaching, that there were Purushim, teachers of Torah, sitting by who had come out of every village of Galil, Yehuda and Yerushalayim, and the power of Marya was there in the person of Yeshua. The power of, of, of the master, Yah, was there to heal them. Is anyone getting this? Yeah. Wait. Is the name Yahweh in the Birch Kaddish? Yeah. Well, it depends. If you want to use the Greek, no. If you want to use the Aramaic, it sure is. But, and didn't the rabbis tell us it was written in a Semitic tongue? Didn't they tell us? Because they wanted to steal it on a weekday so they didn't have to steal it on Shabbat? So how do I know if, if, the, if the disciples wrote in Aramaic or Greek? Well, we know historically that the rabbis try to take out the divine name. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay. Uh, we did 17, right? Yeah. 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 Luke 5, 17. Um, let's do Luke 6, 4. Luke 6, 4. He said, <laughs> he said to them, the son of Adam, who's, who's Ben Adam himself, the son of Adam is Maria. Do you see that? Do you see that? Six. I'm sorry, six five. Luke six five. He said to them, the Ben Adam or the what? Son of man, Mashiach, is Maria. Maria of what? The law is there. No. Maria of Shabbos. So if you're gonna worship him on Shabbos, Maria is your king. But notice he had another reference to his deity. He says here, he says, the son of Adam is Maria. Do you, do you see that? <laughs> do you see that? Abraham, do you see that? The Ben Adam, the son of Adam, is Maria, any kind of Maria? No, no, no. The Maria of the Shabbat. <laughs> oh, to that Abba Yahweh. This teaching is worth its weight in gold. Because yes, it could be a little bit tedious reading all the scriptures, but it doesn't concern me much. Because there's a whole bunch of people who think we're crazy for using Yahweh's name. All right? And we use it all the time. Worship, singing, dancing, too much. Even those who believe in Yahweh's name say, you can't use it too much because you're, you're bringing it to a common thing. I want to show you how much. Turn to your neighbor and say, how much? How much? How much Yahweh used it. Now, even those who believe in the sacred name, you know what their problem with Brian is? Every song is Yahweh. No Hashem, no Adonai's instead of Yahweh's. Yeah? Too much. Okay, I can go with the Yahweh business, but not too much. Well, I'm with every scripture to see how much it's important to Yahweh to preserve his name in the Rikha the Shah. I mean, you have too much Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> I want more Yahweh in my life. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay, where were we? Uh, Luke 6 5, right? So, Lucas 6 5. Um, Ruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay. Lucas. Did we do 4 12? Lucas 4 12? No. Okay. Lucas 4 12. Yeshua answered and said, it has been said, you shall not test Maria, your Elohim. 
Okay. Did we do 419? No. We did 418. We did 418. Here's 419. To, the Spirit of Yahweh is upon me to proclaim 419, to proclaim the acceptable year of Maria. Yeshua was proclaiming Maria. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. 419 we did. Okay. Yeah, for um for what? Eight. I don't know if I have it here. I don't know if I have it. Okay, we did four we, we did four what's that? Eight, four, we did four nineteen. Okay. Let's try you have a four eight, I don't think it's the word Maria. I don't have a list here. Four eight? Well, if it says Yahweh in your Bible, it doesn't mean it's Maria. We have to check from the Aramaic. 4 8. Unless we covered it. Did we cover it yet? No, I don't have it listed here. See? Got to be careful. See, but because, see, here's a problem. Okay, now in the, in the, in the uh, scriptures, it says you shall worship Yahweh, right? See, but it doesn't say that in the Aramaic. And it doesn't say that in the Greek either. So what, what the publishers of the scriptures did is they put that there. You see what I'm saying? That's why when the, when the Greek, what they do is they take out kurios and put in Yahweh. But why do that when we know from the Aramaic where it belongs and where it doesn't belong? You follow me? Because sometimes the scriptures just stick it in there. Okay. Um, so those corrections will be made in the restoration scriptures. Okay. Um, five. We, did, we just did 517, correct? No? All right, we did 517. It's done. 64. Let's do 64. It's done. We did 64. 1335. We did 64. We did 65. Okay, let's do 4 then. Okay, same thing. We, 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 we encountered this in the other Gospels. How we went into the house of Yahweh, took and ate the showbread. How we went into the house of Maria. 6-4, Maria. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go to 1335. While we're going to 1335, go to 10-27. Luke 10-27. Luke 10-27. Answering, he said, you shall love Maria with your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. The Shema contains in Aramaic, Maria. Luke 10, 27. What was the one after that? Luke 13, 35. Luke 13, 35. See, your house is left to you laid waste. Truly, I say to you, you shall by no means see me until the time comes when you will learn how to say, or until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of Maria. It's He's telling the fact, saying, did Yeshua use a sacred name? He tells the, he tells the Purushim, hey, you won't even see me again until you learn how to say Maria. You won't, I won't even show up again in Yerushalayim until you learn how to say Maria. Not Hashem, gold, I don't know. Send that last rabbi to me. That's a problem. He said, she said. Rabbi Moshe, you say this, but Rabbi Bobo said this. Send him here. I, 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 do, I disciple rabbis, if they want to be disciple. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Where is we? Luke 13, 35. Did we do that? Yes, we just did that. Okay. Um, uh, Lucas 17, uh, 17, 29. Lucas 17, 29. 1729. On that day. On that day. What day? No, wait a second, wait a second. Just want to make sure. Okay. 
Okay, now we don't have it. It just shows you how, how messed up this is. In the Greek, you don't find the word Yahweh or Elohim, do you? In verse 29? Okay, but apparently in the Aramaic, and I'll check this when I get home. On the day Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and sulfur from Mariah out of heaven. Okay, it's probably missing. Now, I just, just want you to notice the difference in translations. You don't see the word Yahweh there in verse 29. You don't even see the word Elohim. But in the, in the Aramaic, it says it rained fire and brimstone from Mariah, see? So we have that in the Aramaic. Luke 17, 29. Um... You say, how come the scriptures doesn't have that? Because they're using a great a Greek base. A Greek base. Um, Luke 19:38. Luke 19:38. Saying, Blessed is the sovereign who is coming in the name of Maria. Luke 20:37. But that the dead are raised, even Moshe showing in the sneh, when he called and said, Mar Yah, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. Mar Yah, the Elohim of Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. Tov. Uh, Luke 20, 42. Lucas 20, 42. I love it. Here's it again. For David said in the book of Psalms, Maria said to my Maria, sit at my right hand. Case closed. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yahweh said to my Maria. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Now there's a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to skip acts on purpose. Well, I'm going to go to Yochanan, but then I'm going to skip Acts because I want to make a couple of points. Yochanan 123. Yochanan 1, the Bisarot, according to Yochanan 23. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight in the way, the way of Mar Yah, as the prophet said. Amen. Yochanan 123. Yochanan. 12, 13. Yochanan 12 and 13. Is anybody enjoying? Yeah. I mean, if you love Yahweh's name, you've got to be. you got to walk out of here today and say, wow, I haven't believed a lie. I have not believed a lie. This is proof. This is not, you know, this is not biblical hermeneutics. This is not, this is not spiritual gymnastics. This is proof. This is solid evidentiary proof. In front of any 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 jurisprudence, this would be considered proof. Yochanan uh, 12, 13. They took the branches of the palm trees and went out to meet him and were crying out, Hoshiana, blessed is he who comes in the name of Maria, the king of Israel, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay, 12, 38. Stay in 12. Yochanan 12, 38. That the word of Yeshayahu, the prophet, may be fulfilled, which he spoke, saying, Maria, who has believed our report? Now pay attention. And to whom is the arm of Maria been revealed? So the arm, who, who is the arm of Yahweh? The right arm of salvation. Here it says that the right arm of Mar Yah, meaning the arm is Yah. The arm is Mar Yah. The arm is Yah. <laughs> Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay, so let's skip over Acts. And there's a reason for that. There's just too much. Although I may want to point one thing out in, in Masesh Lichim 9. I mean, there's about 100, no, well, it's about 50 references to Mar Yah in the book of Masesh Lichim. I don't, let's not go over all 50, okay? Trust me, there are 50. But the Damascus Road experience, when the Kirch was born through the Apostle Paul, I want to show you who really met the Apostle Paul. All right? Masei Shlichim 9, 15. 
All right? I want to show you exactly who is speaking to Rav Shaul. Acts 9, 15. Ready? But Maria said to him, Go, he is a chosen vessel to bear my name before nations, sovereigns, and the children of Israel. Maria. Now go back to verse 5. Acts 9 5. Rashul is knocked off his horse. He says, Who are you, Master? And Maria said, I am Yeshua. Did you get that? Yes. He said to Rashul, Well, I'm Jesus and I want you to start a church now. Get going. Get going, man. Don't tarry. Don't delay. No. What did he say? He said, I am Mar. Maria said, I am Yeshua. Maria said, I am Yeshua. So next time they argue, well, Rav, you know, because those Jews crucified Christ and, and the Lord had to raise up a new Israel, so he got the apostate Paul, I mean, the apostle Paul to start the new Israel. Really? Well, well, according to the Damascus Road experience, the one he met was named Yeshua, who said, but I am your Maria. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. My, my, my. Just too good. And Masesh Lichim has literally 50 references. We don't have the time to do all of them. Um... Yeshua is Maria. Maria, correct. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay, let's go, let's fast forward to, and this is important, I'm going to start to wind down. Because there's, there's about, there's hundreds of here. I, I don't know if I can get to all of them today unless you want to stay until about 8 o'clock, which we, we don't have the facilities. Um, not yet, not yet. Um, let's go to Romans. Now remember, in Acts, I'm just, just if you want to write it down, Acts 18.25. Acts 2.20. Oh, now this is important. Wait a second. Not so fast, Rabbi. Not so fast. Masesh Lichim 2. That could be some jewels in that baby. Masesh Lichim 2. Not so fast. I before the day of Yahweh. Now all we're waiting for is the moon to be turned into blood. Masesh Lichim 2 and 21. Are you ready? Get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Are, are you ready? Masesh Lichim. We're in a potter's house now. Masesh Lichim 2, 21. Ready? It shall be that everyone who calls in the name of the Lord, their God. Señor, mi señor, hijo di señor, baby, 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 bambino, mi hijo. Now, you're going to get these folks who say, you know, you guys with the sacred name, with your Yahweh business, you, you take it to an extreme and you say that if you don't call on Yahweh's name, you can't be saved. Well, it can be considered an extreme, but what is the scripture? You can make a very strong case here. What does the scripture say? Let's, let's read it. Masesh Lichim 2.21. So, I, you know, people say, well, people who, who say G and L or J instead of Yahweh and Yeshua, can they be saved? Rather than get into that, why don't you just say Yeshua and Yahweh and be sure and secure? Rather than get into that whole can he, can he, you know. But watch what the scripture says. Masesh Lichim 2.21. It shall be that everyone <laughs> who calls on the name of Mar yeah, shall be saved. Men of Israel, hear the words of Yeshua, so that Yeshua is the Marya, whose words they are now to hear. Now jump down to, to um, 36. Let's see if we can find anything good there. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Am I glad I didn't skip? The Ruach just stopped me. 
I was going to just skip right over this, but the Ruach, because there's so much in Acts. There's so much in Maaseh Shlichim. All right, go to Baruch Hashem now. All right, I'm glad the Ruach said. Look, Maaseh Shlichim 236. Ready? Therefore, when you see the word therefore, what, what, what should be the first thing that pops into your head? What is the word therefore? Now, let all denominations know for sure. Let all the house of Israel, how many tribes compose the house of Israel? Twelve. Know for certain that Elohim has made this Yahshua, whom you impaled, both Maria and Mashiach. Yeah, I don't believe that a man can be God. Neither do I, honey, but I believe he can be Maria. Alright, now, my session here, Acts. Here, I'm going to read that again because my eyes are starting to fill up with the Simcha. Alright? My session 236. Therefore, let all the house of Yisrael know for certain that Elohim has made this Yahshua, whom you impaled, both Maria and Moshiach. Hallelujah. I believe the good news. That's <laughs> That'll fix it. Now. Ready for this? Go to verse 38, Acts 2, 38. And key, they said, what should I do, men and brothers? We're Israelites, but we want to get right. Here's how you get right, Israel. What should we do? Verse 38. Shimon Kifa said to them, Teshuvah, each one of you be mikvad in the name of Yahshua HaMoshiach for the forgiveness of sins, and you shall receive the Ruach HaKodesh. Now, something here is not clicking. I don't see the word Yahweh in verse 38, do you? No, I know it's there, but look, look at verse 38. Do you see that? Huh? But guess what? It, it's in the Aramaic or it wouldn't be on my list. This is probably the way it reads in the Aramaic, okay? And I'm just guessing I'll look it up. Kepha said to them, repent, each one of you, and be immersed in the name of Mar Yah Hamosh Yahshua Hamoshiach. Now, that's missing in the Greek. That's why you don't see it there. But according to my list right here, Acts 2.38, go look it up at home, you'll find the word Maria in the Greek. Meaning Yeshua is Maria. I'm sorry, pardon me, in the Aramaic. Correct. Thank you. Correct. Okay, Tov Tov. Um, that will give you an idea of Masesh Lechim. Um, let's see what we got here in 4.24. Is that too good to pass over? Well, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. Hmm. Ten thirty-six. That may be something we don't want to pass over. Masechlichim 1036. Smoke this one, guys. Ready? I got some happy. I got some happy, happy smoke right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm just whiffing in the word. Ready? There's nothing fancy about this sermon. It's just full of a whole lot of word. It's the kind of word with my father's name in it. So pardon me while I indulge. Masechlichim 1036. Ready? Kifa speaking to Cornelius of the Italian band. He sent word to the children. That's us. Of you. Turn to your neighbor and say, that's us. Turn to, let's try it again. That's you. That's me. That's us. He sent word to the children of Israel. Bring the Besarot and Shalom through Yahshua HaMoshiach. He is Maria of all. Yeah.